Welcome to the Trail and Travel channel. We have an exciting adventure today. We are just pulling in to Zion National Park. And we are going to hike the Emerald Pools Trailhead. Today is a very lucky day because we got to drive all the way down into the canyon and we have a front row parking spot to this trailhead. This is very rare. This never happens. In the summertime, this would not be a thing. But it is January 8th and there are very few people in the park. So if you want to do the whole thing, you're looking at three quarter banana for this hike, okay? So make sure to get your banana, cut it up, get your kids their slices of banana. This one, anywhere from, you know, 13 to 18 ounces of water, okay? If you get your coffee in, obviously it's gonna supercharge you. You'll be able to go a little quicker. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour and a half to get everything done, depending on how many people in your group, your physical activity, you know, how many cups of coffee or chai tea you've had, you know, if you're running ketones or if you're running glucose, I don't know. You want to show them? We're going to show you the new pass for the year. Brand new Parks Pass. Our annual pass. Oh, look at that baby. You're going to have to get a little closer. A little closer. Okay, look close. at that baby. <laughs> and what is this park presented for this year's it's edition? Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park. This is a place that we've been. Amazing. But we're amazing. gonna go back this year because we are inspired. Shout out to Deep Creek Coffee in downtown Springdale. If you ever make it in designs, get to the coffee shop. Best coffee, best goodies, best breakfast sandwiches. They even carry the famous chocolate bars from Iceland. Get you one of those. Have a great day, people. We'll see you on the hike. It's a little bit muddier the closer that we are getting to the pools. Oof. Slippery slidey. Oh, that sound though. That's when you know it's bad.
but there's a whole area that you can kind of hike around and through here. There's no way to get to the upper pool from this way, but there's plenty of cool little side things to check out. And yeah, experience the river from the middle pool. Looks pretty dirty. There was a sign below saying that there is a bacteria in the water, so it did not recommend swimming. And yeah, I probably wouldn't swim in this water. It looks pretty gross, full of bacteria. Nice and brown. So we are gonna head towards the upper pool next. And then we're gonna loop around and see the lower pool on the way out. Cool little sitting area. And this is the trail to the upper pools. Lower pools down here. So we're going to the upper. If you're gonna do the Emerald Pools hike, definitely go to the end. This one is the most grand out of all of them. And this is where we're at Road Pools. We got some waterfalls coming down. We got lots of water in this area. This trail is always slightly wet and muddy year round, no matter what type of weather you have, because there's so much water dripping off these rocks, lots of moss. So take this area slow. There are chains just in case.
heading out of Zion National Park. We just exited, actually. And yeah, finished Emerald Pools hike. Top to bottom, it was about 2.8 miles. The sign says it was 2.2, but Strava's saying 2.8, and it's probably somewhere in between. Took us about an hour and five minutes, and we were meandering a lot. We were taking our time. It was a great hike. Low key, easy for the family, a little couple. Some people running it, so you can obviously jog it. But a uh, perfect time to come, mid-January. Little construction going on, so some things are closed down. Campground most likely closed. Um, still can't get to the end as traffic was blocking it. So many people can only go down the road at once, but you can still get to a majority of the hikes. I would just presume to go early in the morning. Yeah, I think that's just about it. Emerald Pools is one of the easier hikes in Zions and it's a great one. So if you're in the area, definitely check it out. That is going to wrap up this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to the channel to see more of our adventures. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.